main way that we adapted um, in this really unprecedented time has really been in bringing our investors closer. And this was important because there was so much uncertainty in the world and us as a macro fund and having our data-driven insights about the pandemic, uh, we became a key knowledge partner to them. Firstly, you know, you want to up the transparency in your portfolio that your investors know what kind of risks you're running in, in a really volatile market. Then you want to give them the type of information so um, that's, that's really moving markets and uh, allow them to understand that. So the um, communication was up significantly. And then finally, it was really about um, bringing out more of our insights to the market. So we put weekly letters in place and really analyzing the pandemic and the effects that it had on markets. So really pulling investors in was the main uh, way that we adapted over that time. I think the thing that really set us apart this year and, and allowed us to win this award was that we had the adaptability and the ability to learn fast in this very unprecedented time. There were no previous healthcare crises. We didn't have any expertise in healthcare crises, but using the systems that we have and our name, Kelvin, the CAL stands for Computer Assisted Learning, utilizing our technology in order to navigate us towards the important information, identify who the key epidemiologists are that we needed to follow, and put that into investable insights. That was really the key thing. We invested in our technology and up that, we brought on a policy specialist who really understands how governments and their reaction functions are through the pandemic, but also big macro shifts. And then finally, it's really been about um, engaging our investors even more. So the information that we put out on a weekly basis, opening up to co-investments and tailoring our kind of trades towards what they really want and what they're interested in. Yeah, so what we're definitely doing this year a lot more is um, finding those parts of our strategy that worked really well, that uh, we find uh, they have found most interesting in, in what we do, and um, like carve outs of our strategy. So we have a systematic FX strategy that is based on market behavioral shifts and dislocations and taking advantage of that. Then we've also found that our investments in frontier markets, especially in very kind of high carry, but difficult to understand and analyze markets there where the key risk is always the political component where our systems are able to identify those narratives very early. So these are carves out we're doing, then you know, being able to have our investors participate in our best ideas through co-investments, that's really the key focus for us now in the growth of our firm. So I think the key thing that's, that's really changing here is that the hedge fund model of a blind pool of capital um, that that is going to change a lot. So, you know, I want to coin the phrase uh, HaaS, which is like SaaS as in software as a service, hedge funds as a service. I think hedge funds have to become service providers to their investors. So it's not just about delivering a return stream that is um, that has good risk reward um, prob uh, distributions to it, but also effectively engaging on information, providing tailored solutions towards uh, strategies and themes that they really need in their portfolio. And that's the key focus for us.